so hello everyone welcome to this video where i will be explaining my project which is receiving ur data and displaying it on seven segment display using an fpga so in this project we will be taking a character we will send it via ur and it will be decoded on the fpga and its value will be displayed in two ways in first way it will be its binary value will be displayed on our led array and then its decimal representation will be displayed on seven segment display so let's break down this project step by step firstly we will understand what is uart so uart or universal asynchronous receiver transmitter is a communication protocol used to send the data serially between devices it consists of two main signals the transmitter and receiver so the transmitter sends the data and receiver receives the data in our project our fpga will act as a uart receiver it will capture the data which will be sent from the from our system and it will be processed and its final value will be displayed on led array as well as in seven segment display so let's see the workflow of our project firstly we will we will be writing our design code of uart rx then it will be synthesized in vivado synthesized then its bit stream file will be generated will be generated then we will program our fpga okay so after that we will program our fpga we have to write a c program which will access our com port through which we will send our character so we will send character from c program let's say we will send character a so its binary re representation will be 0100001 and its decimal representation will be 65 so this binary representation will be displayed in led array and this decimal representation will be displayed on seven segment display so i have used two seven segment display to represent the decimal representation of our character so this project demonstrates how to receive and process ur data on fpga and use it for real time display application thank you so now let, now we will see the implementation of our project so here we will be seeing the design module explanation of my project okay. So our design this consists of mainly two modules. First module is UR RX, UR receiver module, and second module will be UR display module. Okay. So let's see the UR receiver module. These are the input output ports, the clock FPG reset, RXD signal, and the one eight bit RX data. Okay. The RXD is the serial data line from the UR data. Okay. Then these are the internal registers which I have declared. Okay. This the shift register is mainly. For triggering the shift, and uh, this state and next state is for state machine which I have used in the UART receiver model, and the bit counter. The bit counter counts the number of the received bits, and the sample counter it samples the each bit multiple times to avoid the noise. The RX shift switch it stores the incoming serial data temporarily, and these are some registers: the clear bit counter, the increment bit counter, the sample bit counter, and clear sample counter. Okay. These are the parameters of my design code, which I have used. The clock frequency is for 50 megahertz. It is the my FPG clock frequency, and I am using the baud rate as 9600. And this is the divisive sample as four. Means uh, I am using the four times sam over sampling technique than the normal clock frequency. Okay. And this is the dip counter, which I have calculated. Uh, it and it is coming out to be 1302. And the mid sample is dip sample by two. The mid sample means uh, where I am sampling my incoming bit, and the div bit is 10. This is the data packet of my UART. So, our data packet is consisting of 10 bits the first is start bit, and in the middle, the 8 data bits, and last one is the stop bit. Okay. So, now this module uses a finite state machine with two states. First one is the ideal state when the state equals to 0, and it waits for the start bit 0. And when the start bit zero is detected, then it will move to the receiving state. The state equals one. 
and where it reads the eight data bits. Okay, the bot counter uh, here generates the timing to sample the bits correctly. So once the start bit zero is detected, the state changes to receiver mode, and uh, the shift register stores the incoming bits to MSB first. The sample counter ensures that the uh, data is captured at the center of the eight bit, and uh, mm-hmm. once all the bits are received, the state returns to the ideal state. In ideal state, the state equals to zero. The module waits for the RST to go low. The start bit uh, is detected here, and in the receiving state, the state equals to one here. It samples the bit in the middle for accuracy and uh, shifts the data into the RX shift range. And it counts the bits and stops when 10 bits are received. They start the eight data bits, and last one is the stop bit, and return to the idle after receiving the full character. Once all bits are received, the data bits one to eight uh, are extracted. And let me show. So here the eight to one are my data bits. It is uh, it is extracted and stored in the RX data. Okay. Now coming to the UART display module. The UART display module, it is responsible for receiving the UART data and displaying it on LED as binary ASCII and converting it to the decimal for a seven second display. Okay. And it uses the multiplexing to switch between the two digits, the tens and the ones place. So I have used uh, two seven segment displays to display my uh, ASCII value in decimal. Okay. Uh, here also the clock frequency is 50 megahertz. That is the uh, FPJ clock, and uh, RX is the UART serial data input. That uh, the eight LEDs are used, and uh, the, seg- the seven segment display output uh, here it will be so, and two node bits. It enables the active digit instance or ones. Okay, and uh, <coughs> here I have uh, instantiated the UART RX. Here I have instantiated the UART receiver module, and uh, now in this part. It stores the received value and extracts the decimal digits. Like uh, once digit is, uh, one digit is calculated after taking the modulo by 10 of the RX data. Let's say my uh, let's say when I send uh, a capital A character from my C program, then its ASCII value will be 65. That will be displayed uh, in LED array in binary. And to, uh, and to display it uh, on seven segment display, one, we have to extract the ones digit and the tens digit. By taking the modulo, it will extract the ones digit, and by dividing by ten, it will extract the tens digit. Okay. Now, this is the refresh logic for my seven segment display. Okay. It means uh, I'm using refresh counter here, which counts up to the fifty thousand, and uh, it it will create a one millisecond refresh rate, and it will toggle the digit select every one millisecond to switch between the tens and ones. Okay. Now, here uh, if the digit select equals to one, we show the tens place, and we enable the tens place. And uh, if the digit uh, select equals to zero, we show the ones place and uh, uh, anode uh, zero one. It will uh, active the ones place, ones place uh, seven segment display. Okay. Now, this function seven segment decoder, it will convert the four bit decimal values zero to nine into the seven segment patterns. Each pattern represents a digit zero to nine on a common anode seven segment display. Okay. Now we have seen our design code. Now let's move to the pin mapping of my design. Okay. So. Let's see the elaborated design. So, let's see the uh, input output codes. So here I have mapped my anode signal with the H2 and H1 of my seven second display. I am using first two digits, and uh, now the eight LEDs which I am using here is M4, L5, E11, N11, P13, M14, M12, K12. Uh, it might be different uh, on your FPGAs if you are using. And uh, this is the seven segment. Decoder pins the K4, J4, M1, M3, P2, P4, and L3. Okay, so I'm using uh, here IO standard as a LBC MOS 33. Means the uh, VCC I'll be providing here as 3.3 volts. Okay. So that was it. And, and let's generate the bit string from here. Okay, so I have already generated my bit string. Fine. So in the next part we will see that. So we have successfully generated the bit string file of our program. So now let's program our device. Okay. So we have successfully programmed our FPGA. Now let's verify some ASCII value of some characters. So this is my C program. Now let's run it. So firstly I am sending capital A on my C program. Okay. So as we can see here, in 7 segment display, it is showing number 65. And we uh, we know that uh, the ASCII value in decimal of A is 65, and in decimal uh, and in binary its value is 0, 1, 5 times 0 and 1. 
now let's verify in led array so from m4 to k12 i have mapped these eight leds in my pins now let's see that uh, here also it is displaying 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 it is successfully verified now let's verify another character okay now i am sending z okay so it's value in decimal is 90 and in binary its value is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 now let's verify in led array its value is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 okay so its value is also successfully verified now let's verify another value now i'm sending letter x okay so its value in decimal is 88 and uh, in binary its value is 0 1 0 1 1 triple 0 now let's verify in led array its value is 0 1 0 1 1 triple 0 so guys we have successfully verified our program from c and its ascii value in decimal as well as in binary thank you